Americans vote to elect their next president in November 2016, the most likely winner will be either a Democrat or a Republican. That's the way it's been in the United States since the mid-1800s. But in a country that prides itself on its democratic system, why is it that just two parties have dominated politics in the U.S. for so long? We begin with this report from CCTV's John Gilmore. That has got to change. U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders wants to be the next president of the United States. Although elected to the Senate as an independent, he's now running for president under the umbrella of the Democratic Party. I was at 21. I went up to 28. We're killing everybody. Billionaire Donald Trump has a strong independent streak, too. But he's chosen to run in the Republican Party as he tries to become the next U.S. president. The U.S. electoral system is dominated by two major political parties, the Democratic Party and the Republican Party. And winning election to major political office overwhelmingly favors this two-party system. Hello, Chicago! When Democrat Barack Obama was elected U.S. president in 2008, he replaced Republican George W. Bush. The trend was familiar. Democrats and Republicans have exchanged control of the White House for about 150 years. Smaller parties have occasionally tried to break through. Ross Perot headed the Reform Party effort in 1992 when he ran for president and won 19 percent of the vote. Ralph Nader won just under 3 percent when he represented the Green Party in 2000. Third parties face major obstacles a winner-take-all system that favors the two big parties, organizational and financing challenges, and lack of media exposure. Yes. Still, polling trends suggest that Americans are increasingly unhappy with the Republican and Democratic parties. And many voters would like to have a third choice. John Gilmore, CCTV, Washington.